It is the next evolution in cooking competitions, and it's no surprise that Gordon Ramsay is behind it. Next Level Chef is a one of a kind culinary gauntlet, three stories high, okay? It has a different kitchen on each level. Each week, professional chefs, home cooks, and social media stars. They compete against each other to become a next level chef. Gordon is going to head go on head to head against two other well known chefs, Richard Blaze and Naisha Arrington. And I spoke to Naisha yesterday about this very unique competition. Take a listen. Chef Naisha Arrington, one of three judges on Next Level Chef, is joining us. Also a guest legend on Master Chef Legend, which Kelsey Murphy, our own Hoosier, just won. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you as well, Angela. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so for those who aren't familiar, explain how the three different kitchen levels on this show. How does that work? Oh, I would love to. So. Yes, we're going to start with the top level. This is one of the kitchens. They're all stacked on top of each other. Um, the sort of culinary gauntlet, we call it. And so the top level kitchen has all of the state of the art equipment. The chefs get first grab at ingredients off of the platform. It's all timed. Uh, once the time is up, the platform goes down to the middle level. Chefs go in, they grab their ingredients for their dish. They have to use every ingredient that they grab off of the platform. And then down to the bottom, the bottom level actually just gets what's left over. But the beautiful thing is, if you're a good chef, you should be able to create an amazing dish out of any one of those kitchens. The key really is to craft the concept of your dish, I feel, based on which kitchen you're working in, right? You wouldn't try to make the most elegant, smooth carrot puree in the bottom because there's not amazing blenders down there, right? So you craft your dish a little bit different. And the reality is if someone doesn't grab lobster or filet mignon off the top and middle levels, you might get that in the basement, right? So it really levels the playing field of this competition between social media stars, professional chefs, line cooks, food truck owners. Oh. Um, it's open to oh. all. I think that sounds interesting. So in this first episode, you picked a team of five based on blind taste testing. What went into your decision making and who you actually then picked for your team? Wow, wow. I mean, what an intense moment to pick your team that, you know, you, you're, you're tasting the dishes. You, and it's so interesting oh, yes. as a judge and as a mentor because it's not, all, it's not always about what is the dish right in front of you, right? It's, is it, you know, the most beautiful, like, mm. you know, the most pristine dish? Sometimes you have to think as a chef and a judge, where was this person trying to go? Mm. Even if they didn't even achieve it, right? Even if it wasn't plated beautifully and perfectly, you have to always understand the sort of macro concept of where these people are trying to go with those dishes. And, and if they are good, people that you can help actualize those mm. visions, right? For the for the grand prize of $250,000, for the one year mentorship between Gordon, Richard and myself that they win. And also just those small triumphs, right? Every week they have a new set of challenges. So what I'm looking for, for sure, is someone who's moldable, right? I want to, I've, I mean, I've competed in every cooking competition on the planet and um, at the highest level. And so I want people that want to perform the best for themselves, right? Not just for, for me or saying that they win, but I want people to really strive to, to do their best every single time. So um, that's really what I'm looking for in a team. Well, we are going to be watching for sure, and we're hoping that there's another Hoosier connection Yay. to the person who wins um, this contest. Naisha, so good to see you. Uh, good luck to you. All right, Next Level Chef moves into its regular time period. It's tonight. You can catch the High Stakes Challenge at 9 p.m. right here on Fox 59.